monster tap tap, and this is Slime Sand. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. Uh, this is Slime Sand, the Sheeple sequel. And uh, it's, it's pretty dang crazy in pretty much every way. It's <laughs> uh, the developer, I was talking to them on Twitter, and they said they had a lot of fun with this. And after um, even just a few levels, I'm kind of noticing that. Lots of um, references and so on. Not that the original Slime Sand was lacking in those. But yeah. Well, let's just dive right in, shall we? A review copy of this game was provided by the developer, though everyone who played, everyone who owns Slime Sand already gets this DLC for free. It's a standalone DLC that's four bucks otherwise, but they did this with their last DLC sort of thing. Let's just get started on the first cutscene and level there. I don't know how they make money. They're very, they're very generous in how they do the DLC things. <laughs> I love this little, they had, you can tell, they had a lot of fun. Doing a lot of ridiculous crap. So that's there's Slime Sand, Mr. Sheeple Man, and his ugly disgustingness does not like Slime Sand. Look at, look at these contemptible. I hate them. I hate them. I hate the sound he makes. Anyway, we are Slime Sand. We go. We jump. We do things. And we've got a little. We got a. a ow. We got a lovely little bird. Get used to me dying. This game. This game. If you did not see the original Slime Sand, very hard. Um, me leaving that tr slime trail, that is not the only thing that is Super Meat Boy-like in this game. So as you can see, Mr. Sheep Man Face Man, uh, he does not like me, so he has made these levels. He's, he's basically every single Mario Maker, uh, developer, or can you really call them developer, but like level maker. He wants you to die and to not have fun. And, um, he's kind of a jerk. So, like I said, pretty much every Mario Maker developer. And so we found out the puzzle level. So, oh. <laughs> he, 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 he. So, yes, now you can use your goo to find out where the level is. Yeah, that's... Wait, hold up. I swear I found out how to... Oh, wait, do I just go up? Strange. I, I had, I had less trouble with this level the first time I played. Actually, somehow, I just got right up in that, in that business. Ah, there we go. I knew it was somewhere around there. See, so yeah, a slime sand can do a jump. You can kind of do a, like, if you're in the air for a reason that is not a jump, you can jump again. It's not quite like a double jump, but like if you bump against anything, it refreshes your jump. You get little, you get lovely little sheeple comments on the right here, on the congratulations screen. They're great. They're different every time. I love our little bird friends. So there's two new characters here. There's there's Red Red Shadow, who is some manner of snake deal, and he has an evil edgy bird. And he can change colors. So normally red things kill Slime Sand, but he can shift between red and green. And then there's Marble Sand. Uh, I do not like Marble Sand's physics, but I love his levels, so we're gonna take a quick peek. I'll just take that. What's up, buddy? What? Sheeple! This is totally cheating. <sighs> He's gonna tell everyone online that we're cheating. Oh no. My greatest weakness. My online reputation. Alright, so we're gonna do Red Sands, or Red Slime, Shadow, whatever. There you go. He's got a little intro card. He's so edgy, I like him. He's like regular Shadow, but red. And not a hedgehog. Oh. Oh. That fell. Okay. So yeah, re um, the red guy changes uh, colors every time he dash. And he can also kill enemies. So you gotta do some fancy shifting and stuff. His levels get hard pretty fast. Why am I stuck in a menu? Why are you just smiling? Poor Sheeple. So yeah, if you missed out on the original Slime Sand, I would check that out too. I, I think the original Slime Sand is not easy, but it is probably easier than this. I never checked out the DLC, actually, the uh, first DLC they came out with, Parker. This is not a good game for you to get in the way of. I will die. I will die many times. Park Parker, please. 
please. Oh no. It's, so those little- no, do not kiss the mic, please. He, he likes kissing the mic, I do not know why. If you hear weird noises, that is just Parker giving you a lovely kiss. Alright, screw that scarab beetle. What are scarab beetles? Why are they even a special power-up thing? Alright, so here is where... Parker, please. Okay, no, okay, so... Oh, God. Uh, part of the challenge of Mr. Redface Man is just that he's so different from regular Slime Sand. Um, you gotta manage your changes, and, uh, ah. You just kinda get stuck. I'm gonna take that. You just get stuck, and it's, you know, you only have one modality normally, and it's, it messes you up a little bit. Obviously, we didn't have too much trouble in this section, but I'm gonna bail on his levels before I start having trouble. A windscreen? This is a video game. I knew it. They know that they're in video games. Oh, wait, actually. I need to show all three levels. I'm just gonna do a quick showcase of all the different characters. So we'll show Slime Man, or Slime Sand rather. I have not actually played his levels, but I'm sure I can beat one set of them. But yeah, Marble Sand's levels amuse me the most. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of really cool stuff in Slime Sand and Red Shadow stuff as well. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh! Don't you ghost house me, I just got ghost housed. Oh. <laughs> How dare you. So I see Slime Sand's levels are like, well, the ones we already saw, they're kind of like, you know, they're japes. Oh, Parker, please, sit, move, not be where you is, thanks. Um... Woo! Okay. So yeah, Slime Sand has two- everyone has two abilities. Slime Sand's abilities are the dash. Well, everybody has some manner of dash. But he has the dash, and he can sort of slow down time and, like, phase through things. Ow. But only green things, because obviously, you know, colors. That's why colors exist. Humans, if your skin is pink, you can phase through pink things, trust me. It's, it's real. Parker is orange, so you can phase through orange blocks. These, these are the rules set forth by the universe. Oh god, he has a homing cannon. Who gave him a homing cannon? S someone take that homing cannon away from him, please. He does not have a permit for that. Oh gosh. I have to play Pachinko. Okay, there we go. Hey! You didn't finish this level! You lazy butt! Go and finish this level! Do you see this madness, sheeple? They call this holy place the Unity. It's, oh, this is Unity authoring interface, isn't it? I've been able to make levels ever since I came to found this weird place. Place that gives me the heebie-jeebies, though. And hey, look at all that C-sharp. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, too. I see. So the the slime sand things are like meta, like trick levels. The red shadow ones are like harder polarity changing levels. Um, harder as in like harder versions of like the sort of stuff you would do in uh, the original slime sand. Um, and marble, we will see marble. Do not, do not doubt. Have faith, young young ones. Oh god, young ones, please. Okay. Oh, and then immediately die on the next level. Cool. I really like that the slime stays now. That actually has a functional purpose now. It's not just a cute meat boy sort of thing. Because it actually, ow. Exposes the level in these silly invisible aronis. Which are my favorite. Ow. They're like ravioli, but invisible. Made by real, authentic, invisible Italians. Okay, this is gonna be unpleasant. Um... Where- where's the thing? I do not know where the thing is. Alright, so... Oh! Poor planning on my part. Alright, this is the last level in this set. I gotta just beat this last one. Oh, goodness. I think I'm, maybe I'm supposed to jump on that one. Which is gonna be unpleasant. Um... Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I was making it hard and was. Alright. 
Do not mock me, sheeple. How dare you? These are Digimon. That's a, that was a Digimon that was chasing me. Why are they Digimon? Anyway, let's check out... Uh, what's his butt? Marble Sand. <laughs> Parker is just sitting right next to me like... Wait, this is not Marble Sand. Why are you... You are not Marble Sand. What is this? Marble Sand, please. Oh wait, Marble Sand is the one on the left side, maybe. Oh, weird. Okay, I understand now. Alright, now now for Marble Sand. Marble Sand, like I was saying before. Favorite levels, not my favorite physics. So Marble Sand... Oh wait, 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 hold up. Did I miss the thing? No, hold on. I, you need to see the intro for Marble Sand. Let me show you. I think it only shows if you go down like this way. Please. Marble Sand brings the madness. Oh wait, oh, these are... Oh, you get a different level if you go down through this way. Huh, alright. See, so, yeah, Marble Sand... He, um... Very, very momentum-based. Like, extremely so. And, um... He can turn in... You know, they can all, I guess, turn invisible. And go through stuff. Ben, insert dialogue here. Why did I just say that?! Oh, hey, we got the Champion Cup thing. I hope this CRT television effect thing is not going to be murder on my bitrate. I can't upload things at proper speeds lately. I'm, I'm still uploading something, by the way. I'm still uploading that .hackgu um, stream, which was very fun, by the way. But uh, I've been uploading it since this morning, and it's only at 50%. It has been uh, over 12 hours now. So it's going to take 24 hours for me to upload. Uh, it's a, about a gigabyte an hour. Which is, um, I'd pay for significantly better internet than that, and I'm not getting it. Go away, Digimon! This is not your game. There we go. Oh, goodness. I hesitated. Alright. So, I don't think Marble Sand's physics are really that bad. I just... It's one of those things where, like, the, uh, the very first this time you play him, you will absolutely hate it. See, that's a Digimon. I, I know that's a Digimon. Is that, like, Flying Batmon? What's the deal with Digimon names, anyway? Like, half of them are named, like, Blunchigmgarpfmon3. And the other half are named, like, Bearcatmon, the Bearcat-shaped monster. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Did, is there, is that, like, a localization thing? Are they all named, like, you know, what they are, Mon, in Japanese? And, like, only half of them got localized? Or what's, what's the deal there? Oh, so his dash has this weird property where if he's at a wall, he will ride up the wall. And it makes, oh my goodness. It, it makes for some real fun stuff. Oh god, yeah. He also gets like stuck. He, he's like a sticky marble, which I do not know how that works. I, I don't think that does work, frankly. I question the physics of this video game. Video game with inaccurate physics. In this world, how, how dare you? <laughs> but yes, he... Alright, so so we kind of... Oh, yeah. You kind of need to be dashing the moment you land. Oh my goodness, slime sand. Marble sand. Which, whichever sand you are. Also, this music kind of reminds me of... Um, a track in, um... Oh, um... Mercenary Kings. W why are there billions of sheeple fa falling from the thing, by the way? Is that... Are there reasons for this? I demand an explanation. Oh, speaking of sheeple, there will be... Well, I mean, this game's all about sheeple, but... Oh my gosh. He makes the awesome face when you go that. Remember, remember 2006? I do. Oh my gosh. Remember when memes were instant and pure and not, you know, just vehicles for, for teenagers to attempt to, to kill themselves and yeah, I remember those days. Okay, there we go. At what point? At what point went devs playable sheeple win? 
Humanity is ready for playable sheeple. Alright, so we have to play another level before we get to the one out- the fun stuff. I mean, this is fun, but like, not... <laughs> Actually, not really. I don't like- I don't like his physics. I just like his levels. This- I'm getting used to. I don't know. I didn't like Bunny Must Die's physics when I first played either, though, so... I don't know. This is very momentum-based, though. Bunny Must Die is kind of the opposite of momentum-based. Aww. Uh... Alright. I don't like that worm. Look, look at that worm. Look at his face. Look at his teeth. I don't like it. Something about that should be illegal. Someone. G get, get the president on the line. A better president. One that would make that illegal. I don't. Oh. So what is the death count on sheeple? Because I'm seeing about like 40 fall into the abyss per second here. Is there a sheeple death counter at the end of this game? One of my first mistakes when playing as Marble Sand was trying to use the dash too much. I think I may actually be using the dash too little right now, but I'll use it to make jumps like this over here, which it's totally unnecessary. You just kind of got to keep moving all the way through your jump. Whew. There we go. So he does this weird, like, corner jump, uh, which is occasionally necessary. Wait. Wait, there was... Wasn't there supposed to be a cannon here, or am I thinking of a different level? I could have swore there was a cannon in this level. Aw, oh, good. So he kind of functions almost like Gish, in that this kind of, uh... Like a control modality change. Whoa. I just went straight up that thing. Oh, good. Cool. Okay. I promise. Oh, he kind of slips off without hitting it. Oh, I see. There we go. All right. Oh, no. This is the level I was thinking of. I, I remember why I abandoned that. Because this was, was a hard jump at the very start. Well, not that hard, but... I don't want to do it. It's that kind of hard. Ah! Oh! Then what, what is this? What is this business? No secrets? Okay. And the original slime said- Oh! 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 It is secrets! Hello, secrets. How are you doing? Hmph. <laughs> Finally escaped the infernal area in Aussie. I knew there were secrets in Slime Sand where you could, like, leave the level. And I was wondering if there were in this game, too. And apparently there are. The unfortunate thing is, do I not go- where does this take me? Because I wanted to show you- okay, never mind. Green Hill Grove, Act 3! Wait, what? Hold on. What did that say? No, no, what did that say? Ugh. Hold on. Birdie's never played any golf. Poor Birdie. This one. Not a copy! Sheeple. Do not steal. Original character. Starring original character Bluckles. Alright. So yeah, it's even got the little warp pipe things. That's even more like a Digimon. That's a Koopa! Get, get that Koopa out of here! Nobody let that Koopa in here! This, this is the wrong parody. What, what are you doing in here, Koopa? Get, get out of here, get lost. It's even got the little springs that push you backwards. Just just to make you mad, I never understood why, why that was such a common thing. It's like the opposite of what you want in Sonic, at least as a player. Yeah, I don't need that bug. <laughs> I like how he criticizes the game. What a good human, a real human being. Also, there's little outfits you can get. As you can see, Slime Sand has a little eye patch. I think they're free, or maybe it's just because I already bought them in the main game. But yes, this is also another extremely original character. Do not steal. Can I go down the pipe? Of course not. Huh? I'm- why am I small? I never asked to be small. Why- why did I get small? I- I genuinely do not know why that happened. Did I hit a thing? Oh, are there power-ups? Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Does not make you... <laughs> good. Serves no purpose. Okay. 
We're big now. See, what is he? He's like, he's a ball, but he like, he's like schmooshy as well. Does he schmoosh at will? Or... Okay, I don't... There's absolutely no reason to be large. It just gets you killed. The trees are even the bushes. They got every detail. Oh god, why do I... Why do I keep making the same mistake? I'm not a big fan of the dash. It doesn't even... It takes a bit to start even getting going. Waiting. My oldest nemesis. Oh my god. Oh. This is one of those games that would be a heck of a game to see speedruns though. I'm sure people speedrun the original Slime Sand, so I, I... There we go! Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Same mistake yet again. So I'm sure there will be cool speedruns of this. There will, there will not be my by me. Bunny Must Die is the only game I can speedrun, and I only really do um, the PlayStation 4 version. The PC version has this like glitch where you can get through it in just like 10 minutes, but it's not really. It involves basically only fighting the final boss and exploiting bugs and just involves 0% of the part of the game I actually enjoy, the final boss. Kind of my least favorite part of that. So... We'll take one peek at this next level. Oh, it's not... It's not a rip... Oh! 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 Hold up! I need... There's one more thing I need to show you. One more beauteous, glorious thing. So, like the original Slime Sand, there's some, um... Arcade things and stuff. You can... Hello. Jar greets you kindly. Suppressing sarcasm. Jar now cyborg merchant. Batteries require recharge. What do you want? So we can buy skip level. Oh, you can buy a next level. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like when games have a skip level mechanic. What was I looking for though? Ah, here we go. This is a video game, sheeple. Wake up, sheeple. Alright. So, if you go to, on the worldwide worm, you can change your your play style. So, like, your characters play a little differently. Slime Sand is who we've been using. Jumps higher, walks slower. Jumped higher, but a bit more floaty. So, Luigi. Uh, jumped twice, but can't dash. So, Super Meat Boy. Walks faster, but falls faster. The pills will juice you up real good. Oh, why, why are we getting pills? Do pills make us into different family members? Is that how family works? It's probably how video game family works. But you can buy little clothes too for your bird. Let's give him arms. There you go. And what's, what should we do to I think these are things that I bought in the main game because I remember buying these. Let's get some cool, like, no, hold on. Let's, let's both get cool shades. There you go. All right, now, the main event, the, the superior game. See, they, they hid this, this, this silly little platformer, but the main event is hidden in this question mark block. Oh yes, Super Sheeple 64, oh yeah, look at it. It's just like the real thing. Oh man, oh man, these, these controls, best gameplay, that fog. You know what the sad thing? This look actually looks aesthetically. This looks pretty cool. I would play a walking sim set in this in this world. I possibly have played a walking sim set in this world. <laughs> the music's kind of even like the thing. There's this. There was a speed run of this at the last AGD Cube, by the way. Uh, it's it is a truly amazing game. I, I mean that mostly sarcastically, but also, like, the, the, the dumb things in that game are kind of amazing. But yeah. This camera, too. This, this, this probably controls a thousand percent better. This does not even control particularly bad other than being way zoomed right up this sheep's butthole, which is a little bit too far. But it kind of controls alright. 
I love that you can see him and the little the slime sand and the little bird there playing. Sometimes at the at the result screen, you might have noticed the little bird whispers him sweet nothings, and he blushes. It's pretty cute. Oh no, oh no, my my superpowers. Did you know that it's kryptonite fog is the reason there's fog? It's like in the manual of Superman 64. The Lex Luthor let out kryptonite fog or something. That's why it's green, and that's why Superman does the things. I don't know. It's amazing. So, that is a look at the start of um, Slime Sand Sheeple sequel. And um, I'll. <laughs> I, I won't try to get through the whole game on camera, because I, I would just be 18 billion deaths. How do I leave? Oh god, I can't leave. But how, how, how leave? No, please. I have a family. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Bo. <laughs> I love the text of the thing. Sheeple are amazing. You can really tell. They had a lot of fun messing with this. And there's a bunch of stuff I haven't even shown you. Like, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Learn the moves. Okay, that's just a tutorial. I don't need that. This is like the super tutorial. Challenge dance dance. Mo okay, we'll do one dance. What? No, do. I said we'll do one dance. Let us do the dance. What is this? I cannot pause while playing song. Oh no, it's a rhythm game. I think I was supposed to double jump. Maybe I was just supposed to be transparent. Maybe you wait for it to. Oh, I do not understand. Dash? I'm sure there was a tour. Oh, okay, it's Dash. At least this one is Dash. This is just B in that region. Uh, I still don't get the fully colored one. It makes me think double jump, but double jump does not seem to be a thing. Right, I'm, I'm bad at rhythm games. I won't. I won't force you to suffer through me being bad at rhythm games any longer. But yeah, what, what, what are you? What is he? What is this? Applefimus ATM. Leveled beaten, NG plus beaten. Total trophies, people rescued. Who are people that I rescued? I guess that's the, um... Um... I guess that was the, uh, the shortcut thing I took. Oh, art gallery. Oh cool, I love when games have, like, unlockable, uh... Music thingies. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I can't talk to him. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Sheeple's sequel. And it's really neat. It's coming out February 5th. Um... If you already own Slam Sand, I do believe it is free. Otherwise, it's a four dollar. It's like a standalone thing. You can buy it other than the game. I don't know exactly how it works. If you buy Slime Sand after it releases, I assume you do still pay for it. I don't know. But if you already own Slime Sand from before, you're you're all covered. I love the Pepe Sylvia stuff all over the walls. Sheeple are truly amazing. Things calling them people seems like it would be too insulting to people, but yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Oh wait, Psych, hold up. Uh, a loading tip just told me that there's a lot in the settings, and there is a lot in the settings. Okay, the audio not that impressive, but you can toggle pixel sharpen, sharpening, v syncs. You can disable grain. Oh, I probably should have done that for uh, for recording, shouldn't I? That is gonna murder my bitrate in the face. Um, reduce eye strain. Ooh. Uh, Pantropia. Oh, hey! Uh, colorblindness options! Awesome! I love seeing accessibility options like that. That is very uh, thorough. 
Oh, and you can even choose your own colors. Because, yeah, there's basically three colors in the game. A three plus transparent, which is, you know, 8 bit, so. That's deep. Wait, no. No, default. No, I want. How do I undo? I, I don't. I don't like this brave green world. Do I have to manually do that or default? Okay, good. Okay. Wait. Oh, I think you can just untoggle. Okay, I see that. I see. I see how it works. All right, languages. Oh, there's community translations. Cool. Gameplay settings. I just wanted to show you all the cool stuff. I really appreciate a thorough options menu, so I wanted to make sure this made it in the video. Um, I really appreciate when there's actual gameplay options, too. Uh, Legend of Dark Witch is another platformer that has a pretty impressive range of options. Um, like, oh, the camera zoom, for one thing. That's something that uh, Dark Witch kind of lets you control. That's very few games, like platformer games, like you can adjust the camera. So, also reset entirely upon death. I'm sure that's an important thing for speedruns, you know, global timers and all that stuff. Not global timers, but obviously it's not global if it resets, but yeah. Input lock, toggles input lock at the start of a room. So yeah, I love when games go all... Cutscene viewers, cool. Oh hey, you can reset dialogue so you can see... I, I hate when games, like, they have special dialogue that you can only see once. And you just can't see it again, so if you accidentally hit A or something, so I really like, like I said, I really like these options. G good on you! I love these. Options can be almost as important as gameplay sometimes, because I mean, heck, sometimes a game can be almost unbearable without an option. Example, um, Final Fantasy, um, what's its butt, the one with the camera that is from space and makes me want to die, um... I don't remember what it's called. The first Final Fantasy game that came out on PS4 with the cards and the guys, like the Joker, and I don't I don't know. It came with a box and some cards and some nice mono art, and I didn't like it at all. It was the one that was originally on PSP, uh, but the camera controls in that game were horrendous. Like, you would gently nudge the right analog stick, and it would swing like 360 degrees. Um, the second floor of your house would be gone, millions dead. Um, amazing camera and there was motion blur that like made you actually physically die amazing game i can't recommend it enough <laughs> anyway that's slime sand sheeple's sequel